Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Ali. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join my YouTube family. And also go check out my Instagram. I will throw it up on the screen. Today is going to be another Halloween video. I'm super excited to jump into this. You guys seen a little bit of a sneak peek. So I'm going to be doing Harley Quinn today. And I feel like this is gonna be one that is not too crazy to do. It's mainly just makeup, but that's what I do here on my channel. So I thought, why not? I do want to have a lot of fun. There is a lot of Harley Quinns that have been done from old school Harley Quinn comic book wise and she kind of just kept going from there and kept getting a little bit more spunkier. So from the traditional like clown attire that she had to going red and black hair, I really like that look. I love the red and black hair, so that is what I am obviously going with if you guys seen the beginning of this video. So I will be wearing a wig, that's why my hair is just kind of thrown back right now. But on top of that, there is other stuff that I wanted to mention about more present Harley Quinns, and that is like Suicide Squad Harley Quinn and even just newer um, artwork of Harley Quinn. I love the splash of makeup that you get with Suicide Squad Harley Quinn a lot. So I really want to go off of that play up the makeup with that type of look. But I'm going to be keeping it at the same time red and black makeup because I mean that's what I'm going for here. So yeah, I really like the red and black theme Harley Quinn. I feel like there's a lot of the Suicide Squad Harley Quinn out there so there's tons of those to find. but. Yeah, I'm not really taking any inspo from anybody besides just Harley Quinn, black and red, and I feel like there's so many Harley Quinns out there, but I still wanted to do this video because I feel like she is a character that's very doable, and I am going to have some easier ones in the mix of special effects just so that it isn't just all crazy special effects makeup for people who just want to do makeup. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys my little tutorial on how I would wear Harley Quinn and I hope you guys enjoy. We're going to go ahead and jump into this. So to save time, I went ahead and did some products off camera. I used my No Pore Blend Prime Essence from Touch and Soul earlier. And then I did my brows. And I wanted to do my brows darker than what I normally do them. They're still kind of reddish because I used the It Cosmetics Universal Brow Pencil. It's universal, so they say. So that's what I used. I am gonna be having bangs with the wig, so I may not have to worry about it, but if I do, I'll probably just use an eyeshadow or look for a pomade that's deeper in my collection. If you have darker hair already, you probably won't have to worry about this, but if you're blonde and have lighter eyebrows or you're a redhead like me and have lighter eyebrows, I'll kind of show you guys what I do with them as we go. So I haven't put my clear brow gel in just yet because I wanna see what happens with them as we go. Um, for foundation, I did use my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. I'm pretty sure this is in my favorites that I posted, I think yesterday by the time you guys see this video. So you guys can go check out my favorites. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be wearing this because I want kind of like a semi-matte where it's not completely matte, it's not completely dewy. It's a good in-between natural finish. And then of course Tarte Shape Tape because I definitely wanted to have a good base and after doing the Joker, oh my god, my face has broken out so bad from that white, no smudge, like, paint stuff. Like, acne is so bad over here, so, yeah, we're still dealing with that. Um, and then I did put some Laura Mercy A on. You guys know I like to do my eyeshadow before my face products for the most part. So since I'm doing it reverse today, I did leave a lot of powder underneath my eyes so that if I do have fallout, hopefully I can just whoop it away. But we'll see. 
I did also want to mention that I am currently dealing with so many allergies. Our weather keeps going hot and cold, hot and cold, and it's just messing me and my son up. Like we are like really feeling it, and that's why my eyes may look a little squinty today because they have been watering like crazy. And um, if I do sound out of breath or anything like that, it's just because I have a lot of like sinuses going on with my allergies. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow. For eyeshadow, I wanted to play with some Jeffree Star palettes for Harley. And the Alien palette has a really pretty black color in it, and then, of course, Blood Sugar has some cool red shades to go off of. So first, I wanna start with a transition, and I'm gonna grab Blender Brush. We're gonna jump into Blood Sugar, and I'm gonna be taking Cake Mix which is this shade right here. It's a little bit of like a deeper cream shade. This wig is a little crazy, I can say, and it's very messy since I've gotten it out. I got it out to film with the um, teaser video that I posted last week, and it's just a little crazy. But I will link this wig down below if you are interested in it. There is more to it, as you guys will see in the beginning of this video and at the end. But I just wanted to hold it up to see which side. So we're going to be wearing red on this side and black on this side. So I'm going to do the opposite. So I'm going to have black eyeshadow on this side and red eyeshadow on this side. Now I'm going to go straight into Glue Close, which is a matte white shade. And I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone, inner corner, areas with that. Okay, so like I said, this eye is going to be my red. So I'm gonna go into Prick, which is like the bright, bright red in this palette. I'm hoping it doesn't pull the way I'm like too bright. Like I'm hoping like it'll be like a good Harley Quinn shade, but I'm gonna start working this kind of like a second transition. Now I'm gonna go into Cherry Soda, the next shade over, which is a little bit of a deeper red. And I'm going to work this right in the outer corner and into the crease a little bit below Prick. I'm gonna go back into Prick, lightly just to blend out the edges, make it really blown out. And then with my finger, I'm gonna go into Blood Sugar, which is a metallic red shade. And this is going to be right across on the lid. I'm gonna to try to be gentle with this shade so we don't get a lot of fallout, but I'm gonna go all the way to the inner corner and work the shade across the entire lid. If you are watching this, I do currently have a giveaway going on that should have went up yesterday. So go check out that video. It's the same video that I linked earlier, my favorites. I am doing a little bit of a giveaway in that video, so go check it out. Okay, now I'm going to go back into Prick, the first bright red that I took. Very lightly, I'm going to tap off. And I'm going to work this around just so that we don't lose that brightness. I love how bright that red is. And then we're gonna go into the second Cherry Soda Red. And I'm going to work this on the outer part again and just in that crease. Go ahead and brush away any fallout. Perfect. Now we're going to still continue on this eye. I'm gonna pop a little bit more of the white, my inner corner so that I can take some of Cherry Soda right here along my lower lash line. You can be messy with this if you want. I feel like, just like I said with the Joker, which if you haven't seen yet, go check it out, but with the Joker, you can just be messy with these characters. I feel like they are not gonna be very strategic on how they're applying their makeup. 
don't stab myself in the eye though, I am gonna take a smaller brush just to smudge this shade along my lower lash line. Okay, now we're gonna jump to this eye because I'm looking so crazy right now. And I already have cake mix on this eye as well. And I'm gonna keep this palette handy for the white shade as well to highlight the inner corner again. But we are going to be jumping into the Alien palette because of these deep tones we have in here. I actually think I'm going to take X-Files first to kind of start the ombre effect of this look. It's like a magic show. I'm going to go into Ghost OG. Kind of doing the same thing like I did with the reds. I'm just going to keep going up shades until I get to the deepest one. And I'm going to take this just in my outer corner and into my crease a little bit lower than X Files. And then I'm actually gonna take Black Hole, which is of course the black on my finger and just kind of pat this on the lid. I do wanna deepen the shade as dark as I can get it to make sure this is completely black. But like I said, I don't want a lot of fallout, especially with the black shade. <laughs> it's such a good black though. I'm going to go back into uh, Ghost OG and just kind of blend around it. And then, like I said, I'm going to open back Blood Sugar and take the white. No, actually, I think I'm actually going to take Pluto from the Alien palette and pop this on the inner corner of both of my eyes because it's kind of like a metallic white. It's called Pluto. Give it a little bit of a shimmer going on. Make her a little bit more glam. Okay. And now I'm gonna take Ghost OG, um, the medium like charcoal shade on a smudger brush, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the lower part of my eye over here. I'm gonna dust away some fallout real quick first. And go ahead and make things smoky. Now I'm just going to contour up my face a little bit with the Sculpt Shade and my Tardist Pro Glow Palette from Tarte. I'm going to be using that palette with the Strobe Shade for my highlight today as well. But first I'm going to be jumping into my Morphe 8W Warm Master Blush Palette and taking these two shades here, kind of like a more redder shade, but also kind of keeping it a little bit more dulled down. And then while looking hella crazy, I went back into my Tardis Pro Glow with Strobe and highlighted and did my beauty blender technique of dabbing everything, mushing everything together. Now I'm going to set my face with some dewy set from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I threw on some Tardis Lash Paint Mascara from Tarte and then some Azure Doe Lashes in the style Hollywood. And they are very thick. I do also have the part of the wig on right now. Um, I did want to tell you guys that I did darken up my brows. You can use um, pretty much any type of pencil. If you have like a brown lip liner even, um, a brow eyeliner. Usually a lot of people have brown eyeliners. Again, that's just if you have lighter hair and brows like me. This wig is a little crazy in places and it's like I don't really know how I should part it because the bangs are so long that it's hard to have them straight down without like having to part them. And I kind of like the black and then the red on one side. But I did deepen up my eyebrows with the Shella Beauty Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream because it is a lot darker, it's a pomade. So that's why my eyebrows are a little bit darker now. I think it looks 10 times better. There is two more pieces of the wig to put on that I will put on with you guys on camera. But I did wanna go ahead and finish my look with my lipstick. You can use red, black, whatever you want. I would have probably loved to go black lips with this, but I do kind of want to balance out the red a little bit. So I'm going to be taking the Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Red Rum from Jeffree Star. Okay, so the last two pieces of this wig are like the ponytails. They actually come in clips. Like I said, I'll have this wig linked down below if you do want to try it out. 
Like I said, it's a little crazy in places, which makes it a little difficult, but I do have a hair product that I'm using on these that I will show you too that's made this a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, clip it up here, where it'll look more like a ponytail going on without pulling my wig out down too far. Woo! There we go. Thing, maybe move it up a little bit. And then same with the black one. You can kind of see where the top is too because it has all the hair coming over like that to make it look more like a pony. I'm going to zoom you guys out a little bit. I see they're up a little bit more, looking a little bit more like ponytails than just my hair. Maybe just bring some of the ponies up close. Like I said, this wig is really cute. It's so heavy that you guys can kind of see. It just kind of falls back because all of it is literally so heavy on my head. It's a little hard to keep in place. So keep that in mind, like if you're wanting to get this for like a party or something like that, or to even go like trick or treating, whatever your plans are for Halloween. I take my kids trick or treating, but I, I probably would not be able to wear something like this because I feel like it is so heavy to even like wear for too long. It is definitely over the top, keep that in mind. I think it's really cute for like cosplay, but I feel like I'm constantly like checking to see if like my is like showing through. The little baby hairs that they cut too are really weird. I don't really care for them. And I feel like the part goes way too far up, makes my forehead look really, which I have a big forehead too, so that might be different on you. But it makes it look even bigger though, I feel like. I feel like it's a cute wig. Like I said, there's a lot of like stray hairs going everywhere. I love this stuff here. This is the Hydrating Hair Balm from IGK. I just put a little bit on my hand, rub it together, and then you literally can just run it through your curls. And I feel like it just like tames everything, smooths the curls out. This is on regular hair, but on wigs too. It's been working really well. So this is what I've been using to tame any crazy wigs. But yeah, this is my take on Harley Quinn. There is some flaws here and there again, but that's the beauty of my channel is I get to tell you guys of the flaws and you know, just kind of give you a little bit of a heads up if you decide to do some kind of look like this. But yeah, I really like it. I love the black and red Harley Quinn, like I said. I love those colors so much. I'm back. But yeah, this is my completed Harley Quinn. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give me some thumbs up if you're enjoying my Gotham series. I'm having so much fun filming these still. And like I said, I have more special effects makeup coming, just like the Jokers. So stay tuned for that. This next one is gonna be so, so crazy, but I'm so excited to do this character. But yeah, I thought I would still include some like this that's a little bit more like on the cosplay side, but basically just makeup. So easy to do. Literally, you can create this look with so many different things. If you have a red lipstick, if you have black and red eyeshadows, um, you already have like all your base products. So it's kind of like you're just good to go just buying a wig. So this is definitely one of the more cheaper costume options as well. And I wanted to make sure I had some of those to where not all of these require so many products, so much costumes, so much special effects makeup and all that because it really does get expensive. Let me tell you. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, give me some thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think about this look. And I cannot wait for you guys to see my next one. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.